I'm gonna call this one when pastors reboot the wrong things. When pastors reboot the wrong things. When pastors rebuke the wrong things, seems like that they oftentimes are doing this, rebuking the wrong thing. Pastors, college graduates, Bible school graduates, been, been in a lot of them grew up in the ministry and then when they became old to go to college they still studied so a lot of these have years and years and years of built Bible studies so there is absolutely no excuse for them to be rebuking the wrong things. I don't know all of them background, but I'm sure all of them background is pretty much the same. How can you pastor and lead a people when you don't know what to do as a leader. Pastors, biblical pastors are known for rebuking the wrong stuff. Let's go back a few years ago and, and look at Creflo Dollar when he rebuked the church for not supporting Snoop Dogg when he put that gospel album out. Now, before then, all my life, all 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 the, all the life of me watching Creflo Dollar keep an album, I had never heard him criticize the world the least little bit. But when Snoop Dogg put that app, Nick, so-called gospel album out, Creflo Dollar seemed like he didn't waste no time rebuking the world. The church, I mean, didn't waste no time rebuking the church. Y'all can remember that. He stood up right in front in his church and he pulled and rebuked the saints for not buying his album. Then goes on to try to paint Snoop Dogg as being a saint. A holy man. Yes, he did. He did that. I never heard him openly criticize Snoop Dogg, rebuke Snoop Dogg even the least little bit openly. But he stand up in the church in front of them cameras and rebuke the saints for not supporting it, supporting him. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg take that, all that money and go buy blunts and everything else. Then go on to try to make Snoop Dogg holy through his grandma. I can't read that nowhere in the scriptures where a person is deemed holy because of who they relatives are. The Bible says something about the wife of husband being sanctified. But when you talk about mamas and dads, you grown, whatever, you on your own. Then, E. Dewey Smith stood up in his church some years ago and rebuked his people. It rebuked the church over, I think it had something to do with the homosexual stuff homosexual out of stuff that they wasn't going for. E. Dewey Smith rebuked, his, rebuked the church, his people, I'm just saying the church, on two or three occasions.
for not supporting the world. Now we have William Murphy rebuking the church for his so for what he said the church turned their back on Carlton Pierce. Something not adding up with this picture. Something is off. Something is very off. And the stuff is not getting no better because anybody who called them, who, who, who was supposed to be somebody in the church world, well known name, ain't nobody rebuking anybody. I think the last the last time I heard about a preacher rebuking somebody, there was uh Paul Morton rebuking it alone. But it wasn't over what he had done. He rebuked it alone after it alone stopped taking his phone calls. Then he came out and rebuked it. That man there is some some strange too. Uh Paul Morton. Some, 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 something is strange. He always seen to pop up on the wrong side of everything too. They singing in charisma and all that don't equal scripture. How a preacher stand up in the poor pit? and rebuke the church for not going along with the world on on any other world agendas. Did not God say be holy? Did not God say separate yourself from the world? Did not the Bible say turn away from those who try to lead you astray with those false doctrines, you got to be able to identify who are preaching, who are leading astray. So you're going to tell me these pastors can't identify? They don't have the wisdom to know what's biblical right, biblically right or wrong? What's going on? What is going on? And you notice most of these preachers that, that doing stuff like this, they are heavily invested in the church money-wise. See what I'm saying? They not doing it. They not pastoring churches and working for the Lord. They working for themselves. That's why many of these gospel artists are pastors. They hide money in the church. Hiding money. Letting celebrities have money in the church. A lot of these pastors are corrupt to the core. And they are, they are not hiding anything. All you have to do is pay attention. E. Dewey Smith went up there and deem Deion Sanders a man of faith. He didn't say a holy man. He tried to be slick. Say a man of faith. You can be, you can, a man can have faith in anything, but Deion Sanders wear them crosses. His sons don't wear them crosses. So that's what he trying to say. But look at Deion Sanders' lifestyle. Look at Deion Sanders' personality. Does it resemble God? They'll go and cozy up to the world, but we'll rebuke the church in a heartbeat. Let's see William Murphy rebuke Marvin Sapp. Let's see him rebuke 
uh, the woman that did the song with Nicki Minaj. Let's see the entertaining preachers rebuke other preachers. Y'all can stand up in the church and rebuke the saints. What, but where's the rebuking that to the world, to sideways preachers, to a lot of y'all friends that y'all know are, are, are living in sin? Why y'all won't rebuke them? Is it called? Is it because of financial ties? You run the risk of, 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 of damaging yourself in the public. Record sales and all that gonna dwindle. You gonna run certain people off. Is that it? It that it that what's going on? You have your bottom line to be concerned about. Seem, it seems that way. Because I, I can understand how y'all so quick to demonize and rebuke the church for not going along with the world. Ain't the church supposed to be trying to draw the world to the church, to, the, to God? Not the other way around? Ain't it? Ain't, is it? Ain't that the mission? The church to be as a light to the world, a light unto the world, so men can men and women can come trying to see, try to find out what must I do to be saved? Ain't that the is not that the mission? Seem like you preachers, you preachers who were so, uh, 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 uh William Murphy, you so passionate. You got there and got so passionate. I seen a video where uh, Marvin Self got up there and got so passionate. Y'all have all that passion about God in the Bible, but yet. When it comes to rebuking the world. Where does all that passion go? I seen a video a while back on Marvin Sapp in church. I oh, this is sacred. Y'all want to get all that hand freedom, butter freedom, come up here. I'm going to leave this. Go rebuke uh, R. Kelly. Is not he your producer? You knew about R. Kelly long time before you started actually working with him. Go rebuke the Claw Sisters. I think I think they did a song with uh, Snoop Dogg. Rebuke Yolanda Adams. She did a song with Snoop Dogg and uh, uh, Kanye some years ago. Y'all should have rebuked uh, what's his name that passed away not too long ago about two years ago now uh, the pretty heroin heavy guy Rance Allen y'all should have rebuked Rance Allen before he passed away oh okay y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. ain't do that y'all not gonna do that y'all compromised you got too much to lose. You, never, you ain't worried about losing your soul. All, all, a lot of you already compromised your soul. You already unlinked yourself to the devil. So you're not concerned about that. You're concerned about losing them dollars. Where the dollars at? Where the dollars at? Nobody rebuked the preacher. These churches for opening them churches up and letting these rappers come up and have their funerals and blues singles. Ain't nobody rebuking that.
Y'all bring them people died, them world of rappers and blues singers died, and they rolling right on up in the church. Ain't never been known for going into the church. Ain't never been known for being in Sunday service. Never been known for doing nothing for God. Yet when they die, here they come rolling right on up in church, trying to paint them as being holy. When Gangsta Boo died in Memphis last year, Brown Baptist opened the church wide open for them. And they tell me at their funeral, them folks were doing all type of dancing and all type of rapping and cussing going on at their church, in their church. I believe these preachers are lost. They are blind, spiritually blind. The devil have blinded them. They got to be, because otherwise, they, they would be doing just the opposite. 